Hello, it's Ryan from 2MinuteTennis.net, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to properly fake a poach in doubles so you can win a lot more matches. Now, this video is courtesy of Matt Lynn on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe to his awesome channel. I've put his link in the description below. All right, so here we have the Pepperdine University and UCLA teams playing against each other. Let's watch this point in its entirety, and then we'll diagram it. All right, so this is such a perfect execution of the poach. I want you to watch this player right here because she's the one who poaches. So here comes the serve. This is actually a second serve. This is why the returner is inside the baseline. And I want you to notice the net player's right foot. I want you to watch what she does. I want you, watch how she steps over to make it look like she is poaching. And I want you to notice not just what she's doing, but when she's doing it. She's making that move before the ball ever bounces. She wants to be seen. She wants everybody to see her, especially the returner, because she wants the returner to think that she's going this way, and then the returner can go down the line and try to beat her, right? But that's not what happens. The net player, the server's partner, steps over and then comes back. And by the time the ball is contacted, she's already on her way back to her original spot. The returner was fooled. The net player now has the ball. Now, there are three basic choices here. You can either with, you know, as, as this player, you can either hit the ball back to the baseliner, you can try to hit through the middle, or you can hit the ball right to the net player and right at her feet. And that's actually what I would ask you to do. And the reason is because if you go for the baseliner, she'll have too much time. And if you aim for the middle, then the baseliner can move over and then get that ball back. So the best thing to do is hit the ball to the person hard and low to the person who has less time to react. They won't have enough time and watch what happens. She hits the ball and the net player can't even put a racket on it. Now, one more thing I want to show you here. This serve is perfectly placed as well. When you're going to attempt a fake poach, not only do you want it to be conspicuous, right? You want people to see you. So you got to move the moment you hear that ball coming off your opponent, your, sorry, your partner's racket. That way, you know, everyone can see you make that move. You don't want to be late. You know, you want to be early because you want them to see your fake poach and, and kind of buy into it. But also it's a really great idea when you do a fake that you attempt a down the T serve. And the reason is down the tee serves have a tendency to hit the ball or the returners have a tendency to hit down the tee serves up the line because that's where their leverage is. They're hitting on their left side and they actually get strength hitting the ball that way. You know, one of the hardest returns in doubles is to actually go back cross court on a backhand from the deuce side. And it's actually quite easy to pull this ball down the line. So with the serve, I'm, I'm wondering if this is on purpose. The serve going down the tee to the in, this is called the inside ground stroke. It's the ground stroke toward the inside of the court, where this is the center of the court. Toward the inside of the court, this is the outside of the court. By serving down the tee or down to that side of the returner's body, you're actually making it even more enticing for the returner to say, you know what? My strength is going to go this way. She's going that way. This is perfect. And you bait them right into it. And the volleyer does this absolutely perfectly, hitting the ball right at the person who does not have enough time to react. All right, let's watch this point one more time, and then we'll diagram it on the big board. Now, this video is sponsored by playercourt.com. If you want to play more tennis and find people in your local area to compete against, maybe in some leagues or just some practice time with some new people, or find a coach in your local area, make sure you use my link in the description, playercourt.com slash two-minute tennis to get 50% off when you join their community. All right, the fake poach. It is such a powerful tool because everyone sees you go, they think you're actually going, and by the time they make contact, you've already moved back, and they go, wait, what happened, right? And then what starts to happen is when you do this really well, they don't even believe their eyes, right? They're not wondering, are they going to poach? They're wondering, is what I'm seeing actually a poach, 
right? It's a really cool thing that starts to get into the minds of the returner. So when it comes to the fake poach, you want to be seen. So you gotta move very early. So with the moment you hear, this is you, the moment you hear your partner make contact with the serve, and depending on your level of play, you might see the net, I'm sorry, the uh, returner do a split step so you'll know when your partner is serving anyway. But the moment you hear that ball come off your partner's racket, as this player, you need to take a step. And it's gotta be just a little move. We saw that she didn't move a lot. She just took one big step. And since the returner is calculating the return coming in, and this returner, she saw that move, she's thinking, oh, she's poaching. And that's when you see her go down the line. The problem is this player, when you move and you take that step, she immediately moved back. So that ball came right to her backhand volley. Now, the rule is when you're at the net, in doubles and you have a high ball, medium ball, high ball, overhead, whatever it is, a ball that's above net level, you wanna hit the ball toward the person who's closer to you. Net players pick on net players because they don't have enough time to react. You hear a lot of people say, yeah, but why don't we go down the middle? It's too close and the returner, the person in the back, will have too much time to get there and will end up getting that ball back over the net. And you obviously don't want to just hit it to the baseliner for that exact reason. So pick on the person with less time to react and hit it low to them. You're not trying to hurt them with, the, with a body shot. You're just trying to hit it low to them and let them screw it up or if they do pop it up, you're right there to put it away. Now, one thing I also loved was that the serve was hit down the tee, and it wasn't like on the tee, it was just to the inside ground stroke. One of the best ways to bait the return, meaning to trick the returner into hitting a down the line return right to the net player, is to give them an inside ground stroke. At the club level, Inside ground strokes and inside ground strokes are ground strokes that are on the side of the returner or the baseliner toward the inside of the court, toward the center of the court. This is the outside of the court, this is the inside of the court. So when the baseliner is dealing with an inside ground stroke, it is so common, even inadvertently, that they will pull the ball down the line just because that's the way the arms move. So by doing the fake poach, with the ball down the line or down the middle. It, it was a kind of one-two punch to basically set up the perfect return right to the net player to put the ball away and pick on the other net player. Now, if you're interested in learning these types of strategies, you gotta join me for the first ever Two Minute Tennis virtual tennis camp live on Zoom that I'm holding on March 12th from 12 to 4 p.m. New York City time. The class is $247 and we're gonna learn everything from proper grips on every single stroke and how to find the grips to proper footwork and split stepping the stances you should use on high balls and low balls we're going to talk about technique on every single stroke serve forehand backhand volleys overhead we're going to discuss single strategies and double strategies to help you dominate the next time you go out onto the court and for those who join me for this live class and by the way if you can't join me for the live class that's okay because you everyone who signs up and grabs a ticket is going to be able to uh, get, get a recording so if you can't make it no problem you can still sign up and get the recording sent to you just after everyone who gets a ticket for this event is also going to get a free included zoom lesson with me where i'm going to fix your technique your strategy your footwork whatever you want to work on for that hour i am personally going to work with you one-on-one -on -one, live on zoom you're going to send me videos of your serve and we're going to fix your serve once and for all your kick serve your slice serve whatever it is your backhand your overhead whatever you're struggling with or strategy i will fix it for you in this zoom class and it's part of this 247 dollar ticket for this event i am so excited make sure that you go to two minute tennis.net to sign up and these are the types of strategies you want to learn and you want to make sure that you'll your doubles partner learns these as well so click below grab the share button and and, and uh, send this uh, video link to your teammates so that you're all on the same page. Start faking a poach. The moment, this is you, the moment you hear the ball come off your partner's racket for the serve, take a giant step to make it look like you're gonna poach and then go back. And if the serve goes to the inside, it's even easier for that ball to then just be pulled right to you and then you pick on the other net person who doesn't have enough time. You copy this strategy and there is no doubt you're gonna gain confidence, win more matches, and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2MinuteTennis.net. You got this.